Ibex reads, I, I, I. I reads, I, I, I. An Ibex is a big wild goat showing off his shaggy coat. Quite often, Ilex Ibex admired his nice Ibex coat. I suppose that would be okay, except Ilex Ibex thought he made his Ibex coat so nice. You and I and the other Ibexes realise God makes the Ibex coat so nice. As Ilex Ibex admired his grey summer Ibex coat, he would think, I, I, I have a nicer coat than the other Ibexes. As Ilex Ibex admired his brown winter Ibex coat, he would think, I, I, I have a nicer coat than the other Ibexes. The other Ibexes grew tired of hearing Ilex Ibex boast. So a wise Ibex tried to show Ilex Ibex the truth. Soon Ilex Ibex realised Ilex Ibex didn't do anything wise to make his Ibex coat so nice. Ilex Ibex's coat was not, wasn't so nice because of his kind ways. The truth that Ilex Ibex realised was that God made every Ibex coat nice. Ilex Ibex didn't deserve such a nice Ibex coat at all. Since that time... When Ilex Ibex admired his Ibex coat, Ilex Ibex wisely remembers who really made Ibex coats so nice. Quite wise was Ilex Ibex. Inchworm reads, Eh, eh, eh. I reads, Eh, eh, eh. Inchy the inchworm will climb up a hill. Oops, a bird. Inchy stays still. Inchy inchworm inched along inch by inch. Inchy inchworm wished he could jump just as fast and as high as Itsy Bitsy Cricket. It seemed to Inchy Inchworm being a cricket was a little better than being an inchworm. Itsy Bitsy Cricket never was still. Inchy Inchworm noticed how Itsy Bitsy Cricket could jump and hop about so quickly, but Inchy Inchworm had to inch, inch, inch along, little by little. One day, Inchy Inchworm noticed a big, hungry bird in the tree. Oh, I'd better be still so that bird won't eat Inchy Inchworm for lunch, thought Inchy Inchworm to himself. Itsy Bitsy Cricket was still flipping about and making lots of noise. Look out! Be still, Itsy Bitsy Cricket, yelled Inchy Inchworm. When Inchy Inchworm opened his little eyes, he noticed the big bird was gone. And so was Itsy Bitsy Cricket. Inchy Inchworm was glad God had made little inchworms to inch along little by little, so inchworms would not be noticed by big hungry birds. Inchy Inchworm was thinking about this as he inched away inch by inch, just the way God made little inchworms to do. Duck reads, D, D, D. D reads, D, D, D. Down, down, down dives the duck. Quack, quack. Dive too deep and you'll get stuck. Quack, quack.
Davy Duck did many things too much when he did something. Davy Duck ate too much, swam too fast, slept too long and quacked too loudly. Davy Duck couldn't understand when Mama Duck told him he needed to be self-controlled. Davy Duck needed to do things a little less. Davy Duck should swim slower, quack softer, eat less and wake up sooner. Davy Duck didn't understand. Davy Duck didn't listen. One day, Davy Duck decided to go down to the duck pond. Davy Duck saw a bug at the bottom of the pond. Davy Duck jumped in, dipped his bill, kicked his feet, flipped his wings and down he dived into the pond. Mama Duck was glad Davy Duck had learned to dive if Davy Duck didn't dive too deep. Davy Duck dipped, flipped, kicked and dived into the pond. Down, 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 Dave dove dived Davy Duck into the mud. Davy Duck had done it this time. Davy Duck had dived too deep. Davy Duck remembered too late that he should do things a little less. Davy Duck was afraid he would never see his duck friends again. Davy Duck wanted to tell Mama Duck he would never dive deep again. But Davy Duck was stuck down in the deep mud. Davy Duck believed he would starve to death at the bottom of the pond. Just then, Davy Duck felt a strong pull on his feet and on his wings. Daddy and Mama Duck had rescued Davy Duck. Davy Duck floated to the top of the pond. Davy Duck breathed, battered and wriggled as he said, I've learned my lesson. Davy Duck had learned to use self-control. The servant of the Lord must be gentle. 2 Timothy 2, 24a Ace's mother, Mrs Virtuison, was preparing dinner for her family. Wonderful, delicious smells filled the kitchen. Mother was fixing a roast with gravy, carrots and potatoes. She knew her family would enjoy the meal. Already she could see Ace's eyes as she served him. This was one of Ace's favourite meals. Ring, ring! Mother turned from the stove, crossed the room and answered the phone. It was Race's mother calling to ask more questions about being saved. Mrs Virtuison was happy to tell her more about Jesus. For a long time, Ace and his family had been praying that Racer and his family would receive Jesus as saviour. It was a special joy to again tell Racer's mother how Jesus had died to pay for the sins of each man, woman, boy and girl. Jesus did this because he loves us. Mrs Virtuison told her friend that she could have her sins forgiven if she would ask Jesus to come into her heart and save her. When Mrs Virtuison hung up the phone, she knew it wouldn't be long before Race's mother would be saved. Mrs. Virtuison was thinking these happy thoughts when Mr. Virtuison and Ace came running into the kitchen. A very surprised mother turned around to see what was happening. Mr. Virtuison and Ace had smelled dinner burning. While she was on the phone, she had forgotten about the delicious meal she had been cooking. Mrs. Virtuison was so sad because it was now impossible to serve her family the delicious meal she had planned. Mr. Virtuison put his arm around his wife's shoulders. He wanted to show her he understood. He smiled and, as he said, we will fix something else. As Ace, Ace was already thinking they could easily have a yummy peanut butter and honey sandwich. Mmm, yum! Mr. Virtuison and Ace loved Mrs. Virtuison very much. It was easy to understand why the food accidentally burned. Even little Ace knew witnessing for Jesus was more important than eating. Character objective. Gentle. To care about the needs of others. We must show careful thought or attention for the needs and feelings of others. 
The servant of the Lord must be gentle. 2 Timothy 2 verse 24a The servant of the Lord must be gentle. 2 Timothy 2 verse 24a The servant of the Lord must be gentle. 2 Timothy 2 verse 24a Say it with me. The servant of the Lord must be gentle. 2 Timothy 2 24a One more time. The servant of the Lord must be gentle. 2 Timothy 2 24a